Lost in Space, an adventure with Rocky Star! <laughs> Paul, Ilma, and Ivan have resigned themselves to the thought that they will never see Earth again. Their only chance is to find a planet with suitable conditions to support life. Suddenly, a strange cloud-enveloped planet looms ahead, but the clouds obscure everything. It is essential to dive below the clouds, and this they do, to find a primitive world where huge monsters roam. But then they notice that the Taurus is still falling. Ivan stabs at the firing button. <coughs> There's something wrong. The rockets won't fire. Oh, keep trying, Ivan. I am. Paul, what's the radar range? Fifteen miles. We're falling fast. Get ready for a crash landing. Oh, we'll be killed. Eleven miles. Get into those crash hammocks. What's the use? Oh, we'll be killed. Come on, Ilma, do as I say. What about Ivan? Never mind me. I'm trying to fight the rockets. Oh, it's hopeless, Paul, isn't it? Well, you never know. Listen to the wind. Thousands of miles an hour. Oh, Ivan! Never mind me. Get ready, Ilma. Any minute now. What? They fired. They fired. <laughs> We'll never pull up. It's only a few thousand feet down there. Get back in that hammock. Ivan, don't stay there. Do you think it's slow? That's enough. I lifted her nose. We'll still crash. We've got a chance. When? When's it coming? Any second. With a tremendous glancing blow, the Taurus strikes the soft and slimy earth at the edge of a swamp. The mud is shadow with firm ground beneath, and the impact sends her ricocheting forwards and upwards like a bullet. For a moment, she skims the surface, smashing down everything in her path, then drops again with a shattering, slithering crash. Stillness falls, broken only by the drip, drip of sodden leaves and the patter of rain on the spaceship's scratched and dented hull. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Ivan, Ilma, I can't move. Hang on a minute, Ivan. Ilma's unconscious. She's bleeding. She's got a cut on the head. Yes, see to her first. Ilma, she must have been thrown hard. Ilma, see if you can stop the bleeding. Oh, yeah, first aid kit. What's that? Uh, it's probably one of those monsters we saw. Ivan, you're hurt. No, it, it tend to in my first. The coagulator's nearly stopped the bleeding. I hope there's no bones broken. Ilmer, oh. she, she's coming round, Ivan. Oh, Paul. It's all right, honey. Just lie there a minute while I have a look at Ivan. Here, there's a cushion under your head. Thank you. Now, Ivan... Great, Ike, you're pinned under the navigator's seat. Yes. Oh, I'll soon get you out. Uh, Absolutely. It, it is bent right over. Oh, it's too strong for me. If only there was something to lever it up with. Try to cut it, Paul. There's a hacksaw in the tool locker. A oh, hacksaw, yeah. I'll get it. Uh, I got it. Yeah, this will soon do the job. Is, is Ilma all right? I think she's drifted off again. Perhaps you should look at her. No, I'll get you free first. You hurt badly, Ivan? I don't know. It's pretty painful. I'll just cut halfway. Then maybe I can bend it. At least we're alive. Yeah. Oh, that, that might do it. I'll try again now. It's coming. Hey, can you get free? A little more. Now. Yes. Oh, hang on. I'll grab your shoulders and pull you clear. Thanks. Oh. oh no, I'm all right now. All right across your legs, it was. Can you move them? Yes. I don't think there's anything broken. Just the muscles crushed and bruised. But Ilma... Oh, yeah, Ioma. Smelling salts or something? It's in that bottle there. All right. Ilma. <coughs> oh, well, that's uh, better. 
How do you feel, kid? Uh, Any pain? Pain? Oh, oh, my head hurts. Yeah, you got a nasty gash. But... Oh, wait a minute. I... I remember. I must have fainted again. Yeah, I'll get a dressing on it. Here, look. You better lie down a bit. Well, how's Ivan? How... Oh, he's okay. Just, just... <laughs> just like you, will, my croc. Yeah, but we're all alive, and as Ivan says, that's something. <laughs> There it goes again. What is it? It's just an animal, Ilma. Just? It's one of those huge monsters. We're not down among them, are we? Yeah, we sure are. And the Taurus? Is it damaged? That is almost certain. Though it may be only a superficial damage to the heart. The rocket firing mechanism. Yes, something is definitely wrong with that. Well, then our, our chances of leaving here... Or is there any chance? I don't know, Ilma. I wouldn't like to rely on it. It is quite likely we're trapped here. We're trapped on a prehistoric world. Yeah. We got away from Astros, but it sure looks as if we've jumped out of the fat into the fire. Meanwhile, the streak floats silently in space, while Rocky wrestles with the problem of getting back to Earth. Hey, Rocky boy. Uh-huh? I've just been down aft and checked up on the gravitational pull. It seems okay. Good, right. Thanks, Mitch. Uh, how about those screens? Oh, don't worry with them. I've checked to die. She says they're okay. Okay. What's your deal? All the books? Dozens of them. What? You, you suddenly gone studious or something? <laughs> No, Mitch, I'm doing a refresher course, or I'm trying to, in celestial mathematics. In what? Celestial mathematics. You know much about it? No, nah, gee. Wish you did. I'm sure stumped. I don't know, Mitch, but the more I read, you know, there must be some way of solving this, this force that turns forward progress into reverse. Yeah. There must be. And if there is a way, you sure ought to get something out of all those books. Oh, I tell you, I can't find anything. Oh, what did I give the? What did I say about this time business? Oh, I just, I don't know. It's just completely new. I, I, I don't know. I did a thorough course. It's all new to me. Hmm. There's it's nothing a, much on it, then, huh? Not a thing. Ah, yeah, well. Hey, you notice what goes on with your beard? Eh? Hey? My what? Your beard. You know, in the morning you get up normally back on earth, you have a look at your face in the mirror, you give a, an anguished scream, and you realize then you got to shave. Mitch, please, you can see I'm busy. I'm a no, 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 I'm serious. Yeah? Yeah? My beard? Yeah, normally on earth you get up in the morning, you yeah. got to shave, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, here, there's something going very, very odd. Mitch, I've been too worried to think about shaving in my yeah, well, beard. I am worried, too, and I'm thinking of the shaving. You know, even my beard is in reverse. Uh, what? Yeah. Look, yeah. I wake up with a thick growth, right? Right. What's the normal thing? It gets longer, right? Well, right, right. But up here? No, it gets shorter all day. <laughs> oh, Mitch, what are you growling about? You should be glad it saves you worrying about shaving. Oh, no, it don't save me worrying about shaving. Look, it suddenly does a sort of jump, see? Uh, there I am with a full growth just before I got to bed. <laughs> you know what happens? A fella's got to shave before he can go to sleep. <laughs> oh, Mitch. Well, as a matter of fact, I, I have vaguely noticed something like that, but I... Hey, wait a minute. What? The beard. Not shaving. Yeah, and then you got to go to bed at night and it's all back again. Mitch, that must mean we're... Oh, it's crazy. What? We must be... We must be growing backwards. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I... It makes sense. Hey, huh? Think about it. Uh, you mean we're getting younger? Well, I don't know about that. Hey, I've yeah. thought of a way we can make a fortune. Yeah? We can get down to work and pick up all these dames down there and bring them all up here. Mitch. They get... All right. We're in a very serious position. Yeah, this is I no know, time Rocky. for joking. But we could be growing backwards. You mean that if we stay here long enough, we're going to finish up crawling around in nappies and saying goo? Oh, I, I don't know about that, but... Well, this, this beard business points to it, you know. Yeah, huh? maybe that's why you've recovered so quickly. Yeah. Giggling grasshoppers. Hey, man, you better get back to those books and work out something quick. I'm uh, going to find Di and tell her. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Mitch. There must be a way somehow. There's just got to be. Hmm. Ellis's theory of constant time. Well, that might help. I... Rocky. Uh, Rocky. Oh, yes, Di. 
Oh, Mitch was looking for you. Did you see him? No, must have missed him. But, but Rocky, yeah. I, I found it. You found what? Heavy plutonium. I've just picked up a strong spectrum pattern. Yeah? H how far away, Di? Pretty distant. Yeah. I'm not sure whether it's a star or planet. But it's a strong concentration. Just what's needed for Earth. Yeah, well, that's small use when we can't even get back to Earth. Oh, still no solution? Oh, I'm sorry to say this, but I haven't the slightest notion, Di. Well, do you think we should investigate where the spectrum is coming from? Well, I, I, I know the Solar Council said it was first priority that we should find it, and catastrophe if we didn't, but... Well, Di, I, I don't feel we should travel any further away from the universe we know. Not while we're so completely isolated by this time force. I think you're right, Rocky. Though Mitch says we're drifting all the time. I know, but there's no reason hey, Rocky, to... Uh... Rocky, boy. Yeah? Rocky, there's some kind of planetoid ahead. Yeah, how big? Uh, well, smallish. I just got it on the telescreen. Yeah. I, I think there's a building or something on it. A building? Yeah, come and have a look. Uh-huh. See? I only switched on the screen for something to do. I don't really think to be out and around. There it is. See it? Hey, can you sharpen that focus a bit? Yeah, just Mitch? a minute. I'll try and blow it up. Bring her up a bit. Uh, there we are. Mm -hmm. it? Wait a minute. Yeah. That's How's good. That? That's yes. good. Yes. Yes. See the building? Well, yeah. I'm not sure that it is oh, a building. Oh, of course it's a building. What do you no, mean? No, it's not. not sure it's it. not. Well, not sure. huh? Look, it, it. Hey, it's another of those, those spaceships. The the str strange, squarish what? ones. Giggling grasshoppers, Rocky. You're right. We better get ready for another space battle. Oh, not another. No, no, no. Wait, wait. There's something about the angle of that ship. I. I don't think it landed on that asteroid. What do you think, Di? Well, it looks as if it might have crashed there. Yes. Stand by. I'm going to change course. What are you going to do, Rocky? Land and examine that ship. Rocky, remember what happened last time. I know, but Di, the last ship was on the other side of that time barrier. And now there's one on this side. Well, they may be able to cross it at will. There just might be a chance that we could learn the secret from that ship. <laughs> Rocky moves to the controls. Is he right? Can this derelict solve their problem? And what of the other three in the Taurus, surrounded by primeval monsters? There is further excitement to come, so be sure you hear the next thrilling chapter of this Rocky Star adventure, Lost in Space! <laughs>